Okay, the next word is toaster, and this is just a bit of nonsense I wrote in the morning. She cut the bagel as gently as she could with a serrated bread knife that had points like fangs as it chomped down on her breakfast and cut it in half. She popped the cinnamon and raisin bagel halves into the toaster, adjusted the settings appropriately and cautiously pressed the button. As she waited for her delectable food, she grabbed two coffee pods which would work together with her Dolce Gusto coffee maker to create an amazing cup of Starbucks's finest caramel macchiato coffee. The milk poured out like a white river and was soon followed by a speedy jet of magical ingredient that would of the magical ingredient that would wake her up. She threw the bod, the pods into the bin and stirred her coffee gently, only adding one drop of sweetener into the drink. Before she could even take the smallest sip of the magic potion, the bagels jumped out of the toaster screaming about the heat. She attempted to carefully prise them out of the toaster's jaws without burning her fingers at all, but as usual it was unsuccessful. She rubbed her sore fingers and licked them clean like a cat as she made her way to the fridge for the margarine. She scraped what she could out of the almost empty tub and slathered it across her, ba across, slathered it across her bagels. She watched the margarine melt into the bread and dribble off the sides. She quickly added margarine to the shopping list on the side where she made her way with her coffee and bagel into the living room. While she ate, she mindlessly watched one of the sitcoms she enjoys before turning it over to the news and regretting the action almost immediately. There was never anything good on the news normally, as people don't think it's important enough to report good things happening. But more now than ever, there is no good news to report. Horrified by one second of reality that hit her, she left the room. She headed back to the kitchen, put her plate away in the dishwasher and left her mug on the coffee machine pad for later. She turned to the toaster and coffee machine and thanked them for their delicious teamwork before heading to her room to get dressed. She quickly made her bed, gently arranged Stitch and Eeyore properly so that they sat up and threw, uh, so that they sat up and threw on the clothes from yesterday as it was the pile nearest to her. She was wearing flowing yoga bottoms that made her feel like a genie and a black jumper that said in bold, bold little black sweat on it. She made her way to, back to the living room with her laptop glasses case and phone in tow. She settled down and opened up her laptop as she waited impatiently for the pinwheel to stop turning and load. She checked the list of notifications on her phone. There were multiple emails, YouTube recommendations, Facebook requests and fan fiction updates but one of those notifications drew her attention. It said that someone that she had never met from an entirely different continent had read her story online and liked it. That warmed her heart and made her day, despite it still being mid-morning. She smiled, opened up a Word document and set to work, creating worlds, characters and places for both her and you to fall in love with.